What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at the Center for Stingray Biology. I actually wasn't planning on making a video today, uh, but when I came in this morning and I saw something interesting and it kind of like prompted me to make this video. Um, it was actually something that I thought about uh, talking about before in the past. I just never got around to it. All right. I'm going to start it off with this right here. You guys ever keep stingrays at home and then you see that little pile right there, that build up, and it looks like gravel or sand? You guys ever wonder what that is? When I first started keeping stingrays, I saw that in my tank as well. And I'm like, what the heck is this? And I like to keep my tanks clean, bare bottom. And when I see stuff like that, it, it kind of annoys me. And, and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And I guess, you know, that's a, a, a novice thing on my part. But I eventually figured out what it is. And we will get to it. But I mean, I racked my brain over and over again to the point where I even thought that it was coming from the food that I was feeding the fish, okay? Maybe the silver sides or the smelt that I was feeding, there was sand in the gut of the fish. So after the, the rays ate the fish and then passed it out, and then I'm getting this sand in my tank. And then, okay, so I figure, okay, smart Alec, you figured it out, right? So I changed the food, I changed the shrimp, okay? And guess what? I still find that stuff popping up in the tank. Then I'm thinking, hmm, maybe it was still from those the, the, the fish that I was feeding and some of the, the sand is being stuck in there in the stingray's intestinal tract and it's just taking time to get out. And I just only fed shrimp for a really long time. And the buildup was still showing up in the tank and I couldn't figure it out. And I was like, well, okay, well, that can't be it anymore. So it's something else. One day, um, and, and mind you, at that time, I had only small rays. I didn't have big rays like, like what I have now. Not monsters like this. But, oh, hang on. I apologize for that interruption. For some reason, that just seems to always happen when I'm filming. I get these phone calls. But anyway, I'm back. So like I was saying, you know, I didn't have monsters like this back then. So what th the greens that were, I was finding in the tank was really tiny. But as my rays grew, and, and um, the rays got bigger, I took a closer look at, at what I thought was the, that gravel and sand, right? Look at that, that nice pile right there. I scooped it out and examined it, and I saw that there was a structure to it. I'm thinking, how interesting is that, you know? And that every single tank, see here's the other tank, every single tank I have it, and I started noticing here, here's more right here. Every single tank, okay? And like I said, I started noticing there's a structure. Let me see if I can zoom in on this for you guys. And of course, the size of those grains seem to be proportionate with the size of the rays. So then I'm thinking, well, stingrays are, um, are from the family of elasmobranchs, which if you guys know, that's related to sharks. And sharks, they do shed their teeth, right? Because sharks have rows and rows of teeth. And you can get that at like as a souvenir in, in, in any aquarium that has sharks. So I'm thinking, that's what this must be. It must be the teeth from the stingray. It's the only thing that makes sense now, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna scoop up that pile over there and give you guys a closer look at it. I'm by myself right now, so I'm gonna try to scoop this out. Oh, 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 don't, don't disturb that pile. I need that pile right there. One big scoop. Okay, I got it. Uh, so I'm gonna bring it over to the table, dump it over into this tray, and we're gonna take a good look and examine this. So, for all you guys at home that keep stingrays, well, actually, only those of you that keep a bare bottom will notice that. Uh, for, for you guys at home who have substrate, gravel, sand, obviously, you're not going to see it, right? So this might be a first for you. Well, let's take a good look at this. Look at that. Um, 
they're kind of wet and like stuck to my hand so let's take a closer look over here because uh, some of the water has dried up and we can see a little bit more clearly you see how they have that structure it's kind of like a, a space capsule type of shape where the bottom is bigger and round and then the top is like a little nub so I'm gonna move around and show you a couple of them so once I saw that I knew it had to be teeth but you know without closely examining it and when you look at it like that you think it's just sand but definitely it is not sand and there's a couple of odds and end things right here like let me show you that thing you guys know what that is there's one there's a couple more in here those are those little thorns that run along the stingray's tail and those shed off as well okay the skin is gone but it's like a little thumbtack like a spike now we know stingray have teeth it, it, it kind of just always blew my mind what prompted me to make this video let me show you right now there's a stingray that was up against the wall and I can see underneath his mouth and you can see inside so let's go take a look right now this ray is up against the wall okay he's moving around a little bit but do you see it look at that rows and rows of sharp teeth now I'm not sure if you know other rays have the same you know jaw and mouth structure you know teeth bone structure but this one is a Bosmani and you see when he opens up those teeth are really really sharp they're like that triangular shape I honestly didn't know until just now because I used to find all those little teeth in the tank and they were square shaped but they were never sharp like this come on though he's not puffing anymore There we go. You see that? Amazing. I used to lift these guys out of the water, you know, uh, after they passed away by uh, when I by putting my hands in their mouth and lifting them up. I never felt anything sharp, no, at least nothing like that. But that's so interesting to see. I really, I never knew that. I just saw that. I came in today. I see that ray up against the wall, and I say, hey, you know what? I have to make this video talking about the stingray's teeth. I've, I've lifted up many, many rays uh, before by the mouth with my fingers inside and I never felt anything sharp like that. You know, the very first time that I did it, I was hesitant and, you know, I was very careful. I put my fingers in there and I felt it around and I didn't feel anything sharp. So I've always been confident to pull rays out that way. But that's crazy. That's, that's really sharp. So now I fully understand all these scratches on my tank. I don't know if I can, you see that? These, these scratches right there, they're inside. You see these scratches right there? Let's see if I can find more. Um, I just didn't think that the teeth were that sharp. Let me look over here, because this tank is um, black diamonds, and I do have, you know, now that I look more carefully, I don't see the same type of scratches on this tank. So it's quite possible that the Bosmanis have the sharp teeth, whereas other rays don't, because this tank has these sharp lines all over it. Hey, look, there's more right there, inside. You see that? Right there, right there. So these guys are definitely destroying up my tank. Let's get another look. I love looking at this. Look at That is so cool not cool for my tank though because my tanks are acrylic so it, it is definitely scratching it up but you can see when he really flexes his jaw out you see a whole row amazing now there is still one thing that I can't quite reconcile in my head we when we looked underneath that ray that was on the wall of the tank you saw the row of teeth and those sharp spikes but when we examined the teeth that I just showed you there were no sharp points. They were more like blunt. And that's why when I saw that ray and I saw those teeth, I was like, holy cow. 
I, I didn't think they were sharp. And like I said, I've lifted up rays by the mouth many times before, and I've never felt like a sharp row of teeth. Otherwise, you know, obviously my fingers would have been all cut up. Um, I'm just wondering, maybe they, they, they dull out after they, they fall off, or, or I'm wondering what is making it look sharp like that. So I'm gonna try to give that some thought as well and try to figure that part out. But it was just so cool to see the, the, the Stingray's mouth, wasn't it? I'm gonna try to figure it out, but if you guys have any ideas or thoughts or suggestion, um, I'm open to hearing anything that you guys uh, have to say because we, we all can try to figure this out together. All, everything that I've learned about Stingrays is, is not through books or anything. It's just from my own experiences, trial and errors, and just piecing things together slowly over time. If you guys can tell me any ideas of why it might have looked sharp live on the fish's mouth, but dull and, and, and blunt after it falls off, <clears throat> please, please let me know, all right? All right, guys. Well, we'll call that the end of today's video, but uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will do my best to make more videos for you guys, all right? See you guys.